up my people? This is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot bringing you the weekly reading for December 12th through December 18th. And the year is rapidly coming to a close. So as we wind down, um, definitely don't forget to check out my Etsy page. I have the 2017 readings if you're interested in seeing what the year has in store for you. Um, so before we get on with our reading today, and um, actually you notice I'm outside today, it's really nice outside today, so I don't have to be inside, but the downside to that is you don't get my crazy kitten running around in the background. So he's not quite an outside kitten. Well, he does come outside, but it's supervised visits and he's on his little like harness. So anywho, um, I wanted to show you the stones that I've been carrying around, and I've actually been carrying around a couple of stones. I've been carrying around my bloodstone and tiger's eye, and so I just kind of felt like um, as the year's coming to a close, I, I kind of felt myself, you know, leaving planet Earth, and I tend to get a little up in my head and, you know, a little too woo-woo, as they say. Um, so I just kind of felt like I needed some extra grounding, and it kind of feels like that's what people need um, right around this time anyways. It's a lot of grounding, you know, we tend to get so caught up that, you know, we're just kind of vibrating right off our feet. So the cards that I wanted to use today are Stacy DeMarco's deck, the Goddesses and Sirens cards. So I just kind of felt like, you know, this was um, very earthy, very grounding, kind of like me right now. Um, and I don't know, just the, the coloring feels very um, ending of the year to me. So these are our beautiful backings and what I'm going to be doing is picking a card for Monday and Tuesday, one for Wednesday, Thursday, and one for Friday through the weekend. Um, sometimes the messages blur together so it's not like you know super definitive like this card is just for you know this part of the week but sometimes it's kind of like a they all just kind of blend together to create a nice little story for us for the week. Um, so I always put the intention in that it is for the good of all and um, so if you get an awesome message from this then rock on okay so definitely check out that information box below if you would like to schedule a one on one with me um we can do email we can do fiber we can do all sorts of good stuff okay so whoop. Okay, it looks like this one wants to be our monday and tuesday This one's sticking out. This is our Wednesday, Thursday. And Friday through the weekend. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Does anybody remember that show? Leave a comment below. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our week. Ooh. So here we have an Aztec goddess. We have Ichkiel. So release. Um. I hope I'm pronouncing it right just because, um, well, I, I, I do speak Spanish, but anytime I see an X in Spanish, it's like a ha, like in Oaxaca. So I hear ich and then chel or kiel. Um, so it's chel, release. Um, okay, we'll get over my mispronunciation. Um, but definitely the message is it's time to let go. And as the year is drawing to a close, now is definitely the time to start releasing, not holding on to things, um, what you could have done, what you should have done, um, what you wanted to do, you know, for the year, because the year is coming to an end. We have a whole brand new year coming up ahead of us. And uh, for those of us that celebrate Yule, Yule is actually kind of more like our New Year's, I guess, you know, it's kind of like the, the, the ending of um, one season, one era, and we're kind of delving into the other. So. Um, kind of just letting all of those things go, you know, even the good stuff too, not to say the good stuff is bad, but no, just um, kind of letting all of that energy go. You don't want any of that baggage taking you into the new year. So whether it be good, whether it be bad or whatever, you don't want to take that with you. So going into Wednesday and Thursday, we have Oya, which is power. So um, I'm definitely getting, like I told you guys, um, that this pretty much creates a story um, and so as you release and as you get rid of all those things that um, you had during the year, you know, the kudas, the shittas, and all of that, it definitely brings you into a new power into the new year. So I think that's a fantastic message. Okay, and going into Friday through the weekend, like I said, this is not like a definitive 
of this only happens on Monday and Tuesday, and this only happens on Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday through the weekend. But here we have Sirens, which is Temptation. Um, so as we're going into the end of the year and the end of the season, um, don't give in to temptations. The temptations to feel sorry for yourself, the temptations to, oh well, you know, let's say um, from a health perspective, um, it's the end of the year and I'm not going to, uh, I'm just going to decide not to eat well or not to exercise from here on out because that's not good for our bodies, you know. It's, it's fine to have some cookies, it's fine to have some cake. Um, but it's not okay to overindulge to the point where you go into a diabetic coma. So, um, you know, definitely go to those parties, have fun, you know, have little bits of treats here and there, but don't forget to balance that out and take really good care of yourself. Um, and also the temptation to beat yourself down, um, you know, if things don't quite go out as they, as you had planned, like maybe, um, you know, you wanted the tree to look a certain way, you wanted to decorate the house a certain way, you wanted dinner to come out a certain way. You know, now's not the time to beat yourself down. Now's the time to just kind of hang out with family um, and do what you can. So, anyway, lovely message. We have Ishiel release those things that need releasing at the beginning of the year, followed by putting you into your power with Oya. And then watching out for temptation, those sirens, they'll get you with that pretty music of theirs. So anyway, um, sorry for the kind of jitteriness through, throughout the reading. Um, I am filming in my front yard, and there's an eagle parked right in front of my house. And the guy was kind of standing there like 20 feet away, just kind of staring at me. It was a little awkward, a little weird, you yeah. know. Whatever, I own it. I read cards. I do witchcraft. The neighborhood needs to know this. Hey you. Okay, moving on. I want to pull an oracle card for the week, kind of over general energy to kind of um, balance out uh, the reading for today. And I want to use my brand new deck uh, that I just received not too long ago called the Seeds of Shakti. And this is from the lovely Sharon Santi. Definitely check out her Instagram and all that good stuff. Um, I'll leave her information um, in my information box below. Uh, but she is a lovely, lovely person and she put out some beautiful things. Um, and yes, I am I'm so excited to have these. So let's go ahead and pull one of these. Okay, so um, on the backs of the card she has, you know, some that are dark and some that are white. Um, and that's just to kind of, um, I think she was saying to, to balance out the uh, divine masculine and the divine kind of feminine. Um, within her cards, which I think is beautiful. And they create a nice little, if you put them together, nice little mandala. So there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull a card. It's just a general <sighs> word of energy for this week. Ha! <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> the Earth Star. Did I not just say that I picked my certain cards for a reason because I kind of felt like we needed to be in a place of grounding for the rest of the year, um, especially myself with my stones that I've been carrying around. So yes, the Earth Star, connect to elements in nature. So one way to ground yourself is to put your hands in the soil, maybe do a bit of gardening, maybe pull some weeds. That holds true for me. I got a lot of weeds to pull, uh, especially since we finally had some rain. So everything just went like, oh my God, sips of water. And they're just like, what, what crazy nuts. And um, yeah, so. I gotta tend to that, um, but you know, put your put your feet in the ocean, in the sand, in the mud. Um, go walk around barefoot in the grass. You know, go smell the roses literally. Um, you know, go pick some flowers, some fruit. You know, stuff like that. So um, there are many ways to ground, and being out in nature is one lovely way to do so. And I think that is a great general energy for this week. Excellent. What I want to do now is take you guys into the house to actually create a little bit of um, magic. I don't know, I kind of been in a little magic -y mood, so, um, well, I won't give too much away. Stay tuned for that. We are upstairs, and I have my little mini altar, and as you can see, I have a pair of my work shoes on there. Um, I have some roses, I have some of my grounding stones, I have my kitten. Um, I have a candle um, and I have a few uh, pieces of incense here or um, essential oils. I have cedar wood, I have sandalwood, and I have frankincense. 
Okay, so I like to think of us as being divine beings. And so if we are div divine beings, then the ground we walk on should be then divine. So um, to practice some of that grounding energy, Wally, <laughs> that we... <laughs> So he's just going to roll and knock stuff over and yes, there you go. Um, so um, since I was talking about being grounded and ground, grounding your energy and things like that, um, I actually thought what better way to become grounded than to actually ground your shoes. So everybody, here is Wally once again. Yay! Ideally, you want to do this on a Sunday morning um, to practice, you know, grounding your shoes, just kind of um, imparting a little magic into them, um, you know, just so you can feel that little bit of magic, feel that grounding power as you are walking around and preferably maybe you want to do it with your work shoes. Okay, so the first thing you do is you want to find white um, rose petals. And so I actually have uh, white roses in my front yard, so it was easy to pull some of these petals for us today. Um, and then what we're going to do with those is just place those in and around the shoes. Okay, like so. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, before we light our white candle, I want to choose one of these um, that I feel most drawn to, to kind of put around the rim of my candle, since I don't actually have it in incense form, but I do have it in oil form, and I know that when this burns down, um, I will smell the uh, scent of my essential oil. So, hmm, let's see, let's actually go with cedar wood. I love the smell of cedar wood. I'm just going to put a little on my finger, put some down in here. There we go. And you want to be careful with some essential oils. Some of them are irritating to the skin, so, but I know this is not, that's okay. So um, I will then go ahead and light my candle. And what you want to do is just visualize your shoes being filled with this like blinding, blinding, bright white, golden light, uh, almost as if there is a sun, you know, enveloping your shoes. Um, and this is just kind of a quick thing for you guys. But after an hour or so, you would then want to extinguish your candle. Um, but you want to leave the rose petals here um, in your shoes until the following morning. Um, you know, and then obviously just kind of dispose of the petals in a compost heap if you have it. Um, and then just wear them with pride. Wear them like the divine being that you are. So there you have it. Just a quick little spell. Um, I was just feeling a little, a little magic-y. <laughs> so I just wanted to do this for you guys. So let me know what you think. Um, so that's it. That's my little, my little shoe spell. So I will see you guys back out front. All right. See ya. All right. And we're back. So hopefully you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I wish you guys a wonderful week and I wish you so much grounding and so much love and light as we, you know, ramble towards the end of the year. So, um, I will see you guys next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.